Hi everybody, it's Jen and I'm back with another video. So in my last video, I talked about how I was going to start a blog to go along with this channel and the blog is actually together now. So let's celebrate that. So um, I have the blog together and I'm so excited about it. I worked on it for like four hours yesterday. Today's Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday. So I worked on it for about four hours yesterday. I put up two new blog posts. No, I put up one new blog post. And um, I put up a post about the farmer's market. But anyway, um, so it's up and running. Um, I will put the link in the description box below. And the reason I'm coming to you guys with this video is because on that blog, I posted a 28 day liquid challenge. Um, there are six easy steps to the challenge. It's the challenge that I created myself. Um, the reason it's a 28 day liquid challenge is because it's a baby step to a healthy lifestyle. So it takes 28 days to form a habit. Oh, please bear with me. I'm pretty sick. Um, it takes 28 days to form a habit, and um, that's basically what we're going to do. Um, it's easier to start off with what you drink um, instead of what you eat because eating is just its something that a lot of people struggle with. So I don't want to just kind of help you guys and just put you guys straight into, put that chicken down. No, I don't want to do that. I think that that's, you know, a little unpractical, especially for people that are new to this. I don't want to do that. Um so I wanted to start off with something easy. This is the easiest of all of the challenges that I'm going to give you. It is 100% um, liquid. It, and it's liquids that you make. So let's go over this challenge. I'm going to try and make this video shorter than my last video. Um, so let's sit on back. I have my iPad here. All right. So um, consume half your body weight in ounces. This is what I drink um, on a daily basis, but I drink it three times. So this is a 32 ounce mason jar. I got it from Walmart. It was like eight bucks for 12 of them. Um, and it all came with lids. It's a pretty good deal. Um, three of these a day. If you wanna look at what I drink a week, this is what I drink a week. Let's stand up. This is what I consume in a week. Um, this is a jug that I got from my grandmother. She has a Kangen water maker, Kangen or Kangen, whatever you want to call it. But um, the Kangen water is actually a purified alkaline water and it helps you regulate your pH balance. So um, I really like the water. It just, it tastes really clean. And here I don't have filtered water in this apartment. I don't have a filtered water um, refrigerator. So I just go get my water from her once a week and that's what I consume in a week. Um, it's about five and a half gallons. So roughly a um, hundred gallons a day. You don't have to be strict with it. Just do what works for you. This is, um, 32 ounces, three 32 ounces, I think that's 96. So I'm a couple off, but my weight fluctuates between 195 and 200 pounds. So I'm pretty good. As long as you're in that range, you just want to try. You don't want to not try, you know? If I just drunk one of these, that wouldn't be trying, but I'm actually trying by drinking three of these. So just keep in mind, try. Um, drink only what you make and by that I mean um, blended drinks like smoothies or uh, juices I have a juicer and a blender so whatever I juice whatever I blend that's what I drink I don't buy any store-bought juices which is the next um, number three eliminate all store-bought juices that includes um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, that includes like Tropicana juices. Um, I don't know why I did that with my tongue. That includes Tropicana juices, all of those other juices, the Tropicana form stand, farm stand. Um, those juices still have preservatives in them that are not the best for you. And if you really want a Tropicana farm stand juice, just read the label, pick out what should go in a juice juice it and then you have your Tropicana farm stand juice so um and some of those fruits are out of season so if you really look at it it's like well how did you get this in the middle of fall and strawberries went out of season two months ago so it's 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 easy to kind of debate with them on whether or not their fruits and vegetables are good not gmo free and all of that stuff so it's best to just eliminate the fluff and just go with seasonal produce get it from your local grocery store or get it from a um 
grocery store that you trust, Whole Foods, um, places that let you know what's in season so that you can kind of gauge for yourself, oh, well, do I want these strawberries in the winter, you know, type of thing. Um, and drink one to two cups of tea daily um, or before bed. Now, the reason I say that is because when I lost the weight the first time, tea was a humendous, a humendous, um, huge, tremendous help for me. <laughs> um, I drank tea so much and it really helped me. Um, before I went to bed, I would drink tea and it would kind of center my body and calm me down and kind of get me ready for bed. It was kind of like milk to a baby. Um, it helps regulate your bloodstream just to get you in an overall calmer state. Um, it's, it helps clear your mind. It's just the herbs. It's, it's really just steeping herbs and getting them into your body. So um, you can make your own teas. You can use your teas with mint or fruit or whatever but um, just drink tea you can use natural sweeteners I do not recommend granulated sugar because it's a um, granulated sugar and they kind of have taken all of the nutritional value out of the sugar and then you just have pure white sugar um, so I don't recommend granulated sugar I recommend things like honey agave things that still have the nutritional value intact so um, if you want to have something sweet in it I recommend sugar um, if you're sick like me I put uh, Ricola's in my tea and that kind of sweetness sweetens it up I'll take like two Ricola's stick it in the tea while it's hot let it melt and I'll drink the tea and it'll taste like it's been sweetened um, so that's a tip for the tea that's my little cup of tea and then the last one is to do this for 28 days. Really commit yourself to the challenge because um, it's a baby step to a lifestyle change. I think I said that in the beginning of this video, but it really is. Um, you want to form a habit that one is easy and I feel like this is the easiest of all of the challenges that I'm going to give you guys. And um, I'm not going to tell you guys what the other challenges are, so just stay tuned um but anyway i feel like it's the easiest one to start off with i feel like it's the most practical one to start off with and i feel like it's one that'll get you going in the right direction because once you do this you'll feel so much better going into the next step along with the liquid challenge following you along the way so um, really try and commit to it the last one Number six are the exceptions. So I did say drink what you make, but there are some juices that are just juices. Um, I know LA, LA juice makes really good juices and their juices are 100% what are in the juices. Um, there are no LA juice brands in Charlotte. I've only seen them in Yellowstone and in a specific little town called Gardner. So I do not know where LA juices are. If you live somewhere where LA juices are, then by all means go get them. But they taste really good. And when you read the back of the label, it has every single thing that is in it. And it does not have any preservatives. It is 100% juice. They boil the juice, they put a cap on it, and they put it um, on the shelf. It is not where the um, refrigerated juices are. You would have to go to like a a healthy food market maybe like the fresh market or whole foods and um, I've been to both in Charlotte and they don't have it but it's it's awesome juice um, and their juice is 100% just juice and uh, that's a disclaimer if you ever want um, to get some juice and you and you not I don't want to say you're lazy but say you're busy and hey I don't feel like juicing today let me go get a LA juice they come in little glass jar what well, little glass containers um, they have a white lid on them it says L and A in the front of them and they're um, in the dry storage juices they're made out of glass they're, they're really pretty packaging just read the back of the label and you'll know what I'm talking about they talk about um, how organic their juices are how 100% juice they are and all that stuff um, and another one that you can use is nut milk so if you want to get like some almond milk coconut milk to make your smoothies by all means do that um, I'm I'm um, gonna start making my own nut milks because even almond milk and stuff they they too have some preservatives in them um, that I necessarily wouldn't like to eat because I I would never just buy that in the store. Like, I'd never go to the store and be like, hey, you got some lettuce in? Or, hey, you got some, what else is in this stuff? 
hey, you got some locust bean gum? Like, I, I, I don't want that. <laughs> so I'm not going to try and drink it in my milk. And that's the third ingredient in almond milk. So, and almond milk by silk. This is the label I'm reading. So if you buy this milk, I buy it too. Um, eventually, I'm going to try to start making my own nut milks because, like I said, even these milks fall short. And um, so there we have it. That is the entire 28-day liquid challenge. Um, I will put a link to my blog in the description box below. Um, when you first go on to the blog, it's going to have a little box that pops up and it says, um, become a subscriber and never miss a beat. Um, it's really cute because it's a beat. Um, never miss a beat, but um, please just, well, I'm not going to beg you to subscribe, but if you would like to follow my journey, um, kind of document a journey of your own through me, kind of just comment up underneath and put your own little post of what you did for the challenge and how it's working out for you so far, then by all means, just stick with me. So then you don't even have to create your own blog, but you're kind of documenting what you're doing just by leaving comments underneath mine. Um, so, hey, the blog is up and running. I'm so excited. I wish I could kind of give you guys a sneak peek of what it looks like. Let's see. So, here's the blog. You guys can kind of see it. It's so cute. I worked so hard on this last night. Um, I was up for hours and hours, so I'm really, really proud of it. But um, please just go up to the blog, check it out, subscribe if you want to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. Um, and, oh, I did not tell you guys this, but... Um, with this challenge, I will be posting videos once a week. I will do a before and after photo of myself um, at the beginning of the challenge and at the end. I've only been doing the challenge for two days, so I'll get the before and after photo ASAP. Um, and I'll do a post once a week to kind of keep you guys up to date weekly. And after the four weeks is up, then I will show you my before and after photo and we will be good to go. Um, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Stay blessed and stress-free. Thanks so much. You guys have a great Sunday morning.